How's it going everybody and welcome to a brand new Power World video where today we're going to be going over 10 insane crazy glitches and exploits that you should definitely go ahead and take full advantage of right now because I'm telling you these glitches will definitely make the game a lot more simpler and a lot more enjoyable because you're going to be able to have a ton of cool stuff and be really overpowered. Now, as always, before I dive deeper into this video, a quick word from today's sponsor. If you guys are after some in-game services for Power World, check out U4GM and also use code FLOPPERS to get yourself a 5% discount. Links below. All right, so starting this off with one of my personal favorite glitches, which is going to give you an unlimited amount of gold and some juicy golden keys. Now, there's going to be three glitches in this one, technically. So starting this off, I'm going to show you the basic one, and that is how to obtain yourself the gold and the key. So you're going to open up your map, and then firstly, you're going to go ahead and travel this location, just where I am, right over here. You're going to come across an abandoned mine shaft, where if you go ahead and make your inside of it, there's going to be an NPC at the bottom of it. Now, this NPC is going to be called the Black Marketer, and you can actually exploit him and use him to farm yourself an infinite amount of gold and golden keys. For this, all you're going to need is some sort of a melee weapon. With the melee weapon in hand, make your way upwards to his face, then proceed to actually click the attack button and the talk button at the same time. Keep spamming those two buttons and you're going to notice you're going to start attacking him and actually begin to kill him. But he will not engage back so he won't defend himself. He will just stand there and take all the hits until you kill him. Upon killing him, he's going to drop you anywhere between 10 to 15,000 gold, sometimes more, and one golden key. Now, to repeat this, it's really simple. Just proceed to open up your menu, return to the main menu of the game, and then load back into your world. And this NPC is going to be reset, so you can once more kill him and get the loot. Now, there is an alternative way of being able to kill him because sometimes melee weapons in this game are very weak and if you're a low level, you are probably going to struggle with killing him because he does have a ton of health. So to be able to actually kill him using your POW, it's a similar method, but this time we're going to go to a different location. You're going to open up your map and then you're going to proceed to travel to this area right over here just where I am. There is going to be another black marketer, but this time he's going to be in the open. You're going to go ahead and take out your most powerful POW and you're going to set him to actually aggressively attack NPCs or basically enemies. Then proceed to actually toss the POW at the Black Marketer. And you just simply have to go ahead and talk to him as your POW is destroying him in the background. You're going to notice that as you talk to him, your POW is going to be doing damage to him, lowering his health until he kills him. And all you have to do is just literally talk to him as he's getting assassinated. But after he dies, he's also going to give you XP. He's going to give you the gold and the golden key. This is a really awesome way to find yourself XP because you can just literally once again reset him by returning to the main menu and he's going to respawn. Now, if you want to capture this guy and actually have him for your camp, there's another glitch you can do. And all you have to do is actually firstly kill him. Once he's dead, you're going to pull out a bunch of fire pits. Then you're going to go ahead and place them down in the location of the spawn of this NPC. So the location that he actually stands on just below there place a bunch of these fire pits. Then build them and then go ahead and actually reset him. So return to the main menu, reload, and he should spawn on top of all of these fire pits. Once he's on them, you could either wait till his health is really low and then kill him. That is basically a really awesome way to farm XP if you are really, really low level. Like we're talking about level 10 and you want to get some XP, some gold and keys. This is what you can do. But you can also capture him. So allow his health to drain really low and then proceed to chuck your sphere at him until you actually capture him. And then you can go to your camp upon capturing him, place him down and you can actually have this vendor walk around your camp you can buy powers from him and if there's a power that you're specifically looking for you can actually get it from his inventory by just resetting it and to do that you just have to again leave to the main menu join back and every single time you do that his inventory is going to refresh with new powers but now moving over to a really awesome expert that is still fortunately working and is definitely a really helpful hand at the start of the game or the early stages now the only requirement for this is going to be a sphere and what you have to do is basically throw it at a POW and then allow him to get captured. But as he's being captured, proceed to actually jump on the sphere itself and then stand on top of it. 
If the power is caught successfully, you are going to get launched into the sky, allowing you to get a great view and also be able to actually climb and scale massive mountains with this method. Because at the early stages of the game, climbing is very slow and this is just an insanely overpowered little boost that is definitely going to allow you to climb and basically scale all of the huge mountains. Or if you're stuck in a crevain or a hole, bang, do this exploit. It's really easy and it definitely comes in handy. But now moving over to another really great exploit and this one fortunately still works but I'm pretty sure this is going to get patched very soon because I heard the developers are looking into this exploit and this is going to be a duplication glitch now I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know about this but if you don't it's really easy and it definitely does come in quite handy because you can duplicate yourself an infinite amount of any material that you want but there's only one requirement and that's to actually have the blueprint so First things first, you're gonna go ahead and pull out a stash box, place it on the edge of your camp, then proceed to take out a blueprint that you basically wanna duplicate the resources off, and also make sure that there is no materials in your inventory as you're doing this. Then go ahead and make your way over to the edge with the blueprint in hand, proceed to actually step on the corner of it or the edge, and then place the blueprint as soon as you actually get out of the circle what should happen you should be able to place it down but it will not cost you any materials because you won't have any on your inventory then proceed to either place a bunch more or go ahead and make your way up to it and then cancel the blueprint you should get the materials in return and then proceed to put those materials you just obtained into the stash box and then go ahead and simply rinse and repeat this you can do this with multiple blueprints and this is just a really awesome way to stack up on some of the more harder to obtain materials in the game but definitely give this a shot if you're trying to build an awesome base because you know materials are always good to have on hand next i'm going to show you a very quick glitch that is going to allow you to quickly move massive stacks of resources by even having to put them in your inventory it's a really awesome method and quite helpful if you guys have a lot of stuff and currently this is only doable on pc but to get this done all you gotta do is make your way over to a stash box that you have a ton of resources let's say you guys have like ten thousand pounds of rocks and you can't carry your inventory well if you're on pc what you have to do is just select the item drag it out of the inventory of the stash box so it's like in midair then proceed to click the tab button and what should happen is the item will actually stay on your cursor but your inventory and the stash box are going to close now you can actually make your way over to a different stash box and just simply open it and then drag the cursor into the stash box and the materials with it and just like that you've moved yourself a humongous amount of resources without even having to put them in your inventory but now moving over to another quick glitch and this is going to be an infinite egg glitch which is going to allow you to have as many eggs as you could possibly want and this is really easy also so first things first you're going to place down an incubator and then have yourself an egg that you want to duplicate in your inventory then proceed to place down the egg inside of the incubator and of course allow it to cook as the egg is cooking it gets closer to its you know 30 seconds marker then proceed to actually click on the incubator select the egg and then drag it out of the incubator itself once it is in between the bag and the incubator proceed to click the tab button and what should happen is the incubator and your bag are going to close but the egg is going to stay on your cursor then allow the actual egg itself to finish incubating and then go ahead and open up your inventory and then place the egg that is on your cursor into your bag now you notice that if you make your way up to the incubator wabang you can actually hatch the egg and you basically have the egg in your inventory also so therefore you basically got yourself an infinite amount of freaking eggs how easy is that and you can do this with any egg in the game also and now going over one of the best xp glitches in the game that is going to give you an unlimited xp farm it's quite simple and there aren't that many requirements for it now first things first you're going to make your way over to the small settlement just over here once in this location proceed to make your way towards this hut with this red npc inside you're then going to proceed to actually try to capture the npc so first things you know you're gonna have to go ahead and attack him get his health low and then proceed to throw your sphere at him once you capture him if you have a wanted level you can quickly get rid of it by just opening up your menu and then returning to the main menu then reload your save and your wanted level should be gone 
proceed to make your way over to your camp then go ahead and actually obtain yourself some gold now like i showed you previously the glitch that's going to give you unlimited gold and keys comes really handy with this exploit so go ahead and do that for a bit so that you have a ton of gold now go ahead and deploy the npc in your base and then talk to him if you go ahead and go in his inventory you're going to notice that he sells a ton of stuff and specifically he sells a lot of berries now these berries in his inventory have an infinite supply so you can buy as many of them as you can afford once you have bought a bunch of them you're also going to need yourself a fire power because you're going to go ahead and actually start cooking these berries and you get xp every single time you cook them and also if your power in your base is cooking them you get xp in the background so you can use this as an afk farm or just basically a quick way to get yourself xp because now you technically have an infinite method of getting berries xp gold and keys and all these combined will allow you to get to the level 50 incredibly quickly and also level up your pals but now moving over to another really awesome glitch this one is going to allow you to actually bypass an entire dungeon and get to the boss really quickly and also the final chest for this all you need is of course to make your way over to a dungeon and then you're going to also need a flying pow once you are in the dungeon we are then going to proceed to start scaling the walls until you find like a bunch of gaps where you could either throw your sphere in those gaps to get your pow to basically spawn on the other side or just climb and stick to the wall until your pow by himself breaches the wall and gets to the other side either way once you have your pal on the other side proceed to mount the pal what should happen is you should get sucked through the wall and then basically be on your pal in the other side of the map then proceed to find the massive dome of the boss arena and then just simply proceed to fly to that area and then go ahead and make your way over to the top part and then proceed to actually find the gaps in the ice or the rocks where you can just jump inside and make your way into the boss arena once in there go ahead kill the final boss and then of course get the juicy loot from the chest this is a really awesome way especially early game because you can bypass the dungeon and sometimes these dungeons do get kind of like amazing where you know you might get lost inside or you just simply might struggle with killing the enemies you're going to be able to do this and get straight to the boss very quickly and now going over a final glitch but this one's going to be easy and quite helpful and I actually showed you guys a couple of days ago this glitch because it just really is a nice one what you need for this is to obtain yourself this power right over here this wolf power with this you also need to have the actual mount for it so you can ride this power now with its ability there's actually a really cool glitch you can do which allows you to actually jump really far and just basically get access to different areas of the map faster because you can jump across them and what you got to do is just simply get your timing right with this glitch use the main ability which is basically like a forward dash attack then you're gonna wait until you actually do the attack and you see the wind like circle around your wolf and then proceed to just simply jump what will happen is if you get the jump correctly on the timing right you're going to be able to launch yourself very far forward now this is a really easy one because once you actually get the timing you know on point you're going to be able to do this every single time and basically just run around incredibly quickly this wolf is obtainable early on in the game so this glitch again is a great thing to do in the early stages of the game but overall guys all these glitches here are really easy really helpful and definitely come in handy in different situations if you guys have any questions about them be sure to comment down below if you're new to the channel also consider subscribing and for those who have stopped by before and you haven't yet subscribed consider it because you know it's always helpful for yourself you know whenever i post these videos you might find some of them interesting and quite handy but overall i hope you guys have a phenomenal day and i'll catch you in my next video peace out